let's begin. Welcome back guys, it's Edward here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today I'll be showing you the full Easter egg guide to the Family Guy map created by XD for PC. Step 1. You need to stab 4 bears around the map allowing you to collect the first key. Before you can enter the house, you will need to stab the first bear which can be found in the back garden. Purchase the two doors on the right hand side of the house, each for 2k. Then make your way round the back. You will see a teddy with a bow knife sticking out of it. You will need to knife this, resulting in the front door to the Griffin household opening. The second bear is located in the basement. Head into the house and purchase this door for 1250. Then this door on the right for 2200. Make your way down and find the power switch, the next bear and a shield part. Knife in this bear opens the door to the garage at the end of the hallway, where you can craft the shield and purchase jug. The third teddy is located in the garage. Knife in this bear will open the door to Peter and Lois's room on the second floor. Surprise, surprise! The fourth teddy is located in the parent's room and opens up the door to Stewie's room. This is where you can purchase electric cherry. The first key will now appear within the spawn area. You will receive a prompt on your screen stating your reward is ready in the spawn area. Before we dive into step 2, I'm going to cover the side easter eggs as this might make it a little bit easier. Shield part locations. There's only two parts as this is the transit shield, however each one has two locations. The ladder always spawns within the basement, just by this stairs just here, and the other one can be found just next to the power switch. The door on the other hand can be found within two rooms within the house. One within the kitchen that's just in the corner over here, or in the lounge that has the bank system just in the doorway. To craft the shield just head into the garage and it's just to the right hand side of Jug. Stand back from the table and the trigger will appear. Free perk. Within the house you will find 5 pictures of Herbert the pervert. You will need to interact with all 5 to receive a free perk. If you head upstairs and turn right then head into Meg's room, one can be found in front of her bed just here. Opposite this is Chris's room and another book can be found just by his desk just here. Head down the corridor into Stewie's room and the next one can be found on the floor next to the cot. Downstairs within the kitchen you'll find another one just on the left hand side as you walk in there. And the final one is on the ground floor of the basement, just over by the teddy bear. And voila! You will now be rewarded with a free perk. Step 2. Teleporter Puzzle Unfortunately this step I can't help you too much with as it's a randomised event. Once the power is activated 5 teleporters will power up, 3 in the front garden and 2 in the back garden. You must stand on each teleporter pad which will randomly teleport you to another one. You must do this whilst listening out for this sound. This is due to the fact that they need to be done in a specific order which is randomised each game. If you hear this sound, you have got the wrong order and you will need to start again. This is a test of memory and patience, so good luck. Once you have the order correct, the reward prompt will appear on your screen and you can collect the final key. Step 1 and 2 can be done in any order just as long as the correct doors are open. Step 3. Use the keys. Within the basement at the bottom of the stairs is a locked door that can only be opened using two keys that you previously collected. Use the two keys to open the door and go through the portal. This will teleport you to the Drunken Clan, housing a pack-a-punch machine, a random perk machine and the hammer. XD's logo is on the wall and it's a Bible ending for 75k. I know, I thought that was pretty steep too, but I think it's due to the double points that we purchased in the basement. I found holding here with a machine gun or the Mark II and just continuously purchasing double points sped this along big time. If you want to get the Mark II it's super easy, just head into the house and into the dining room. Just on the table will be multiple ray guns scattered around the place, which you can purchase pretty cheap. I hope you enjoyed my guide and found this helpful, if you did then please consider hitting that like button and subscribing, it's free and really helps a small channel out like myself. You guys have been amazing, where I have been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. I hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever freaking time there's. I hope you have a great one. Peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to the end. I just wanted to shout out my brand new merch. Items such as cups, mouse mats, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, and even a poster. Because why the hell not? There's even a top with a Rex wearing a little hat. Click the link down below and check it out for yourself. I've also set up a Patreon for those who are asking to support me in another way. Of course, don't feel like you have to and have a great day. What the f*** was that?